weird stuff from the past. It's like, what? I haven't talked to you in 10 years, and now you want to marry me? That type of stuff. You're upset I didn't text you back 12 years ago? That stuff. Okay? So, remember, though, the Pisces solar eclipse endings. Okay, winter's over. Now, this is doubly, this is doubly interesting and doubly impactful. And I don't even know if doubly is a word. But, if this is right on the cusp of the spring equinox. Literally, the birthday of the astrological calendar. And what is Aries? Aries is the beginning. They're the babies of the zodiac. They are everything new and fresh and exciting. They're new beginnings all around, okay? Most Aries look youthful their entire lives, okay? They are youthful. They love new things. They love starting things. They're all about new things, okay? So just keep that in mind. This is all combined with a Venus retrograde, okay? Weird relationship stuffs happening, weird beginnings, weird endings, okay? All right, Leo, let's talk about you in March. Let me see, make sure you can see all these first. Why do I do that every single time? Let's talk about Leo. You know what I love, Leo's? I have a couple really good friends that are Leos, girls and guys, and I'm Aries, and I'll just tell you that it is just so much fun all the time. It's like somebody wants to do something, and we're like, we're like, hey, yeah, let's go. I'm excited. Let's do it. Yeah, that what a great idea. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, I mean, we just have so much fun. What's even more funny is we all have water rising signs so we talk about relationship bs till the nth degree and we come up with gazillion plans to fix it it's so funny it's just funny anyway i love leos because i have some really close friends that are leos and i just like get you okay let's talk about you leo high level high level yeah something's over Something's beginning. You're excited about it. Okay, you weren't ready. You were not ready. But you are excited. And now you're so excited that you're not even mo emotional about anything in the past. Okay? This is funny. This is funny, Leo. Okay? I mean, it's not funny. It's just so clear. Past, Leo. Coming from February. The full reversed. Okay, this is the very, very last or first, however you want to look at it, major arcana card. Okay, this is a symbol that something is over and something is beginning. And you're usually, okay, when someone has the full major arcana card, they're usually very excited about this journey. Okay. Just before he steps off the edge of the cliff, he's grabbing the little, you know, whatever he has that's important to him. And just going, okay? With a light, graceful, excited heart. Now, this is reversed. So, this is you knowing that this is coming, okay? But you're like, ah, I'm not ready just yet, okay? I'm not ready just yet. This is pre eclipse. Now, now you're ready, present moment, okay? Eight of Swords reversed. You felt tied down. You felt like you weren't ready to jump. You weren't ready to make that change, okay? Everybody else saw you as somebody that was fully capable and ready. You just weren't ready. But this is reversed. You're dropping all of this emotional thought, spinning thoughts about anything, life and love, you're not even thinking about it anymore. You're just done. You're done, done, done. Okay? 
And, and actually, one of my really good friends, he was trying to get, he's a Leo, he was trying to get his ex back for the past year. And early February, he got her to text him, and they were texting, 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 and he got all hopeful. Okay. And then just in her usual fashion, she's like, nope, shut down. And he was so emotional, he wasn't ready to just really let her go. And then about two weeks ago, like right at the mid, mid to end, like middle three quarters of the way through February, he was just like, I'm so done. I'm so done. Like, and he hasn't talked about her since. It's just funny. It shows. He's done. You're done, Leo. Okay? Now, if you're in a long-term bond, that's completely fine. I'm not saying the relationship is over at all. I'm just saying that whatever it was that was causing you to fear a beginning or fear moving forward in some aspect, it could have just been this fight that you guys have just been coming back to over and over and over. I mean, little stuff, okay? You're done with that fight. You're letting it, you're emotionally letting it go, okay? Now what's crossing you is the Seven of Pentacles. You're a little tired. You're a little afraid that whatever you're setting out to do or working on, Okay. This is not a card of new beginnings. This is a card of something that you have continued to work on. So if you're in a long-term bond, you're like taking a deep breath. Okay, let's, I'm getting tired, but we're going to have to really start buckling down. Okay, Because in the, the, the Eight of Pentacles is the card where he or she actually decides to put their head down and finish. Work, 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 right? So the Seven of Pentacles, in, in any journey, okay, whether it's physical or mental or emotional, okay, or tangible, you know, actions of go physically going somewhere. Whatever journey in tarot from one to ten, there's hiccups. There's these hiccup points. And it's always the threes, the fives, and the sevens. The threes are where there's a big hiccup, you know, I don't even know why I started this, it's over, okay? Then you keep going. Four, decide to work. Five, there's tension. Okay, the tension it starts building again. You know, you're fighting a little bit, but you're, you're in the middle of it. Okay, you're not ready to cut anything off, but it's just like, ah, oh, here we go again. Okay, then six, you start getting, e e there, there's like evening out of equality, right? Seven, tiredness, fighting. Okay? But you're so close to the end, you've put in so much work, whatever it is, you're going to continue to just put your head down and fix it and get to the end. Okay, So here we are, seven. Great place to be. You're a little tired. Okay, You're probably sick of the argument. That's why you're just going to be like, I'm done, let's fix it, move on. Okay, So I like that this is a, ch this is a benefit. It's a challenge because you actually have to mentally decide to continue, but you are. Okay, You're done with the fight or you're done with the relationship, or you're done with the issue, and you're going to, and you're right at that spot where you're deciding to move forward to an eight, okay? What's grounding you is the three of sword, three of wands. Uh, this, everybody always says this, but waiting for your ships to come in, you put all the energy you can into something, and now it's time to receive. This is very indicative of this seven of pentacles okay you have it's reversed you haven't put everything into it that you can you haven't done all the work necessary to start receiving all right leo there is still more to do and i'm telling you that straight because a lot of times you don't want to hear it okay you're not done doing the work there is more to do before you can start receiving. And it clearly shows here. You're tired, but there's more to do okay, on this journey. What's crowning you is the moon reversed. Now, your, your intuition, you're turning your emotions off, okay? You're not going to have, you're not going to worry about things. And you can get very emotional, Leos, okay? You can get really finicky about about perfecting things and communication and actions and um, seeing how things go versus how other people see them, 
Okay, and I've talked to you about this before where, where you uh, can meet somebody and in 10, 12 minutes really see the length of the entire relationship. But then you have to wait for everybody else to catch up because they don't see it. They don't process information like you. Okay? So you're, you're not letting emotions get the best of you. And you can. You can let emotions get the best of you. But you're choosing not to here. Okay, so this is good. You're being very grounded. Now, in your future, we have the chariot card. You're ready to go. Okay, this is now new beginnings. You are, you are another seven too, okay? You are really deciding to move on and complete this that you're working on. Completion. Um... That's it. This is what your future is. Okay, you're you're like gonna charge off and do what you're gonna do. Okay. Now, how you're viewing the situation? It, um, something is over. It's not coming back. Okay, you're over it. Over it. Okay. <laughs> Get that. Charging forward. Over it. That's funny. That's your keyword for the video. Um, it, how your partner is viewing you or your love interest or new love interest. You're out and about now. Okay. You may have had moments in January or February where you were acting like the hermit. Okay. Trying to get grounded. Trying to connect with yourself. Trying to get, reconnect with your soul. Trying to find your purpose again. But now you have. And they are viewing you as somebody that isn't looking for solitude. You're looking for socialization you're looking for going forward and meeting people and getting your stuff done they're viewing you as a go-getter they're view they're also viewing you as somebody that is doesn't need to take time to go and zone and and connect with themselves you've already done that you've done the work okay and there's it's good to do that from time to time everybody does it's very healthy to do that but you've been doing it and now you're ready Okay. Your hopes and fears, the, the two of wands, you're afraid that you aren't 100% sure of the direction you're going in. You're not 100% sure that it's the right one. So you're kind of waiting for somebody to come with you and go with you so you can bounce things off of them. Um, and you're, you're a very social sign, so you're, it is a fear, afraid, fearful for you to do things by yourself. You like people, okay? You like um, being around people. It gives you energy. So you're just afraid of that. It doesn't mean that's the reality, but that's, you're just afraid of that. And then your final outcome, the death card. And this is just such a beautiful death card, isn't it? There's some weird peace here with this because the death card means transformation. There's endings and there's beginnings. And it's as if he's saying, you're leaving me here and you're going to continue on the path. He's pointing to the future. He's pointing to you in the path. He's saying, this is where I stop. I came with you here. I took you to this ending point. And now you need to turn around and keep going. You are in a new place now and I can't go with you. Isn't that beautiful? It is. It is beautiful. All right, let's look at your Spirit and Universe, what are the overall messages for Leo? What are the overall guiding messages for Leos regarding this particular reading for their love life in March 2017? Something tells me that this is going to really impact Leo's who are rising sign Leos. Okay. 
Okay, so this is so clear. Leo is the magician. You're at that point. You are at that point now. You were afraid to be there, but now you're there. You are fully aware of your capabilities and you're fully energized to move forward. Okay, you're being told to. Okay, you've spent time connecting with yourself, letting go of the past, but now you're here. You're at the end of your journey and it's time to really go and make something. Okay? Action, not emotions. Action, okay, action, not emotions. And you're on your way to more peaceful waters, okay? You've done the thought. You've spent the time, okay? This is over. This is the central energy because this is the key of where you have been and where it's taking you. Because this will lead to peace. This will lead to new exciting places. And I love this Six of Swords because usually there's little mountains in the background and or, or just the ocean. But look, it's not only... It's actually close. Okay? And... It's green and lush, okay? It is promising. And I like this card better than the other six of cards in the, um, the Rider Waite deck because in the Rider Waite, the swords are all, are all in front. So it's as if her mind is guiding, his or her mind is guiding her. But no, you spent time clarifying and you, you're taking everything that you've learned with you on this new journey. Okay. And these four of wands, it's not time to celebrate though. Okay, you've reached this place where you know there's new beginnings. You've reached this place of clarity and you have this newfound energy, but it's not time to celebrate just yet. Okay. In terms of love, okay, you may be over a fight working to reconnect with your partner, but you're not forgetting the fact that, um, I mean, you are forgetting the fact that it's been going on for a long time, that there's emotional tension. You're just cutting it off. You're done with the fight. Okay. It's time to move forward. You're taking control. Okay. And, and in essence, if you're in a long-term relationship, Leo's, that helps your love life. It helps your partner because if you don't get stuck on things, they won't get stuck on things because you're the leader. You're a very fixed leader and people follow you and you aggravate them, but they believe in you. So if you're in a relationship and you've been fighting and there's been crazy tension and uh, with your partner, the second you say and really mean it and really act that you mean it, I'm done with this fight. I love you. I want us to be better again. And then actually do the actions to make that happen. They will follow you and they will believe you. And, and your relationship will be healthy again, okay? If you're in a situation where there's been a breakup or a long-term relationship, um, you're, you're just excited to go meet new people, focus on work, okay? Right now, you're not looking for love. It can find you. You're available to it, but you're not spending all your time and energy looking for it. You're in a new place now, okay? Okay. 